Y'all, yeah. it's your boy Jay Sites, and I'm back. I'm not even going to talk too crazy, but just know I'm about to show y'all a couple of VFX that's coming from this little Yachty and this Ian Hate Me video. Tap in. This is a quick and a fast one, but also a helpful one. So I'm going to need y'all to drop a like, comment, subscribe, and let's get straight into this. I'm going to start off with the stuttering effect. I got two ways of doing this. It's mad easy. Just pay attention. So boom. And after effects, all right, all it is, you got to make sure that the shot is on a tripod. You feel what I'm saying? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate my footage and I'm going to take this rectangle tool. You can use any other masking tool that you want, but for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just trying to blow through this. I'm going to just and make sure he stays in frame the entire time. Right. Oh, we almost lost his hand. So now that I got that, I'm going to just... Um, I'm going to take one frame or two frames from this and I'm going to start to duplicate these. Move them up one frame at a time. Two frames. And as you see, he goes back and forth. So duplicate it again and I'll be back to y'all when I'm done with this. Driving like somebody chasing, and I'm not just about the porch, I hit straight to the porch, get the driver like somebody chasing, and I'm not just about the porch, I hit straight to the porch, get the driver like somebody chasing, and I'm not just about the porch, I hit and I'm gonna show you how the second way to do that real quick. I'm gonna need y'all to just, you know, clear your plate. Make sure you got the same clip there, right? I'm gonna need you to duplicate that. Uh, we're gonna, hmm, we're gonna make the same mask, right? And on that, instead, I'm going to go to time, enable time remapping. I'm gonna hit the stopwatch on the very first frame of my composition. I'm gonna go up two frames. Or one frame, uh, two frames again, and then I'm going to make another keyframe. I'm going to take those keyframes and I'm going to duplicate those as well. Ugh. And the reason why this one is better is because you're using less clips. Trust me, making it way lighter on your PC. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, let's just move on to the next one. Let's go on to the scan, man. So if you want to try the slit scan effect, you feel me? Um, that shit's fairly easy. So what you need is, you need a solid. Gotta add a solid. And on that solid, you wanna add a gradient ramp. And you wanna change this from uh, white to black. You can do that by hitting swap color. And you see you have white at the top, black at the bottom. And now you want to change these values. One of these could be negative 6,000. And the end ramp, which is the black, could be 6,000, which is in the positives. And we're going to get this to the center of the screen by make, making this match. Since this clip is 1080, the center of the screen would be like 540. You know what I'm saying? If you have 4K, it would probably be like uh, 720, another number like that. I'm not too sure. I don't take my word for it all the way. <laughs> But once you get that, you can uh, turn this layer off and come down to your main layer and add a time displacement. And all you got to do is set your solid layer as the mat and use effect and mass changes to about five or six. And you'll start getting this. Uh, you'll start getting these effects going on in your footage. But let me tell you all the reason why this is cutting like this is because this is from the actual music video. So it's thinking that uh, I'm splitting up one clip when in no actuality I'm splitting up the entire music video but this is how you get this effect bro this effect is fairly easy you can even do things like add like RSMB over this to you know complement this and uh, also posterize time and I also found that uh, choosing the time resolution which is the FPS changing it to like what your footage is actually shot in uh, it, it honestly helps it as well it looks cooler and the effect lasts a little bit longer but yeah now it's, we should just move on to the next effect all right so for this effect look there's really no right or wrong way of doing this right i'm gonna show y'all a little cool way we can uh execute this cool that cool little look that you're seeing right there so first of all let's just create a clean plate let's make a solid layer new solid and let's just use the ink drop tool to capture the background right so now we got a clean plate on top of the footage so we can start doing things like masking out all the subjects that we want to use inside this shot you feel me so i'm gonna cut out yadi 
over here and shit like that so I could put him in the back of those other two guys. Make a mask on him. So now that you have all your mask and stuff like that ready, you could just easily turn all of these layers into 3D layers. Oh. Turn on the motion blur and just add a cam. And then what you do with the uh, with the layers, really, you know, it all depends on what you want to do. But usually, you know, I just move them, move a couple of them back, move a couple of them forward, and a couple of things like that. You feel me? Just make sure you have some of them to the far right and to the far left. So now that you have everything placed, you could just get your camera, hold shift, and click and drag to the right. And you'll get a better result like that. You know what I'm saying? And if you want to add like some depth of field and stuff like that, you could just do things like add a camera lens blur to some of the layers in the back. But yeah, you definitely could get cleaner results. You know what I'm saying? If First of all, if you shoot the project yourself, but you know, you know, this is just for tutorial purposes. You feel what I'm saying? I just had to show you how the gist of it. And there's different ways that you could go about doing this. You could use the transform effect and stuff like that. But, you know, I'm, I'd rather show you how like more comfortable way you feel me because you don't even have to animate the background or nothing like that like, you can honestly it gives you more space to even do things like change colors and stuff like that but i prefer y'all to actually jump into filming the project and stuff like that or when you're doing it from a raw composition rather than having somebody else's video you feel what i'm saying but yeah man yo, if y'all enjoyed these uh three cool effects drop a like comment subscribe and i'll definitely be back with more Peace out, my nigga. Y'all niggas be easy.